Hey guys, Gladys back here once again, and I'm back for an episode of This Is Bullshit. This is episode 5, and this really is bullshit to start off. Look at this clip. I got a tank out of the spawn on Turan Highway with the blue dot, and he ran, run, runs it off a cliff and kills me. Uh, totally helpless down there. So, a little bit of trolling to start us off. Um, I don't think I've ever been trolled so hard by a blue dot, so uh, that started really, actually, for this whole night. <laughs> we were um, we were running around and we were uh, saying the whole time troll squad, like we would just run around and uh, try to troll people. So this is an example here: just sniper, C4, C4 uh, troll squad. And so that's <laughs> um, going to be a pretty much the visual theme for the rest of this. There's a lot of trolling going on, and I do some of it. This guy, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to jump. <laughs> Okay, so um, and now that Troll Squad's out of the way, this particular clip right here is really weird to me. I feel so helpless reloading when I'm bipoded like this. And then uh, I've never shot a guy in the bipod without it sighted, like aimed down the sights. So that looked really weird, that clip there. Um, but anyways, Medal of Honor Warfighter is coming out in less than a month. So I'm giving you guys the heads up now. We will be adding content regularly from that. I don't know if we're going to incorporate it into our ongoing series that we already have. I doubt it uh, because it'll be a brand new game. There's going to be a whole different play style and a whole new community that we interact with. So I doubt we will have the same series going for them. However, uh, we will get some stuff up regularly for you guys. We'll probably be doing some series. But uh, myself, Seawolf, Link, and probably Pop-Tarts and maybe some of the other guys... I know we're going to be getting it, so um, I'm trying to get myself hyped up for it. I've been watching videos on multiplayer gameplay and like breakdown on you know what's going to happen in the game and how it plays out and some of the specifics of the the game style. And I'm just not impressed so far. It seems like just a prettier version of Call of Duty. And the, the focus on fire teams, you know, it seems like they're really, really pushing that as, like, their main selling point of this game. Like, fire teams is the big deal. And to me, that's a step backwards. I think that as technology advances, as gamers mature, and as games mature, and they become more, like, technically superior than uh, to the games of last generation, I think that there's a quality there and something that, we should uphold as we're making new games. And but what I mean for sp shooters specifically is that I think it should con continue to grow. And I don't think really fire teams add much to the game style of a shooter. Now, this is probably going to be a hot topic and I might get some hate mail from you guys on this, but um, I think that going to two people into a team, like for instance, if in Battlefield here we've got squads of four. And even this feels like too little to me. I'm um, back in the mag days. We were playing on squads of eight. We had uh, four squads in a platoon. We had a platoon leader, and then there were four platoons uh, for the entire side. So it was 128 versus 128. Now how that broke down was fantastic. I think that was the perfect setup for uh, f first person shooter squad type tactical gaming. I think eight players is perfect. But, of course, I'm not asking for 256 players on Battlefield or Medal of Honor or anything like that. I mean, that'd be just ridiculous. I think probably 32 or 36 players on console would be about the perfect setting. But anyways, what I'm saying is, like, to scale down the squads, like the dependability and cooperation. Oh, and let me stop. Scotty Supernova uh, gets the shout-out there uh, for that super ninja move. Like, I didn't see it coming at all. He jumped right off of the uh, the stairs going up there and just totally ninja shot me right in the face. Um, so hats off to you, brother, on that one. That was awesome. Uh, scared the shit out of me when it happened. Um, but you definitely got me on that one. And then here, I sort of do a, a payback here. I always love getting 100-star kernel tags and, yep, uh, GDRMF right there. <laughs> he sends me an unhappy face right there up in the top right corner, you can see. So I, I had a good laugh about that, but uh, sorry, totally worth it though. Um, I know he would have gotten my tags in the same situation, but uh, friends from Reddit there. So anyways, uh, back to Medal of Honor Warfighter. When you scale down your squads and the teamwork and communication to only two people, um, I feel like it could be a cool thing and oh, no scoped. It only took me a couple shots there. Um, 
not a headshot, so not as cool as I would have liked, but that's the first time I've ever no-scoped a pilot. This guy here, I keep digressing, this video is going to be all over the place. Uh, Chokeman, or Chokeman, I don't know what it is. I got his tags there, and then who's this unlucky fellow just meandering by the wall? Yep, go figure, it's my buddy Chokeman, or Chokeman, whatever his name is. Got him again, and then, can I do it? Can I get the hat trick? Absolutely, fucking lootly I can get the hat trick. I got him three times in a row. Um, so with two two man squads, fun God damn it! I gotta stop again. Okay, I get my first defib kill. <laughs> Troll squad. Um, yeah, we were just screwing around for like this whole night of gaming. Anyways, so two man squads. It brings down, I think, the opportunity. Like it lessens the opportunity for team style tactical gameplay because you're only working with one other person. This is, of course, going to make you depend more on that person, I think, but it's also taking away the amount of teamwork that you can possibly have um, by forcing you to only play or depend with one person. So uh, working with four people in Battlefield is the optimal way to play. If you got four guys that you know that communicate effectively that you can work with, that's beautiful. It's it's wonderful when that happens. But only working with two people, it's just going to feel like so much less teamwork, I think. Um, and especially cuz the maps are so small, you know. It's much more akin to how Call of Duty is set up like it's smaller maps, it's infantry only pretty much um, and there's squad perks and uh, like unlocks that you can do, but there's uh, there's like kill streaks and stuff where you can call in choppers and and uh, missiles and stuff like that. It's it's very 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 similar to Call of Duty. Like I said, I'm really not looking forward to it as much as I would like to, because it just seems like an updated Call of Duty. But basically, in a nutshell, long story short, is I think that bringing the squads down to two men is a mistake. I think there should be uh, at a minimum in a first person shooter six man squads I think four is even really too little to play effectively and tactically um, so the last video we're going to move on here the last video that I did the Top Gun episode 5 I talked about the post patch choppers and there was a not really a lashback but there was a some pretty heated discussion over reddit in response to this video and I want to talk about that just for a little bit. I feel like somebody was responding and saying that, oh, you know, you should take it as an extra challenge for you to rise up to and, and all that stuff instead of just whining about, you know, them uh, taking away the, the flares for the chopper gunner. And I can see sort of where you would have that mentality, but not to the point where it's just like th there's no thought behind that. Like, there's no intelligent discussion. It's just this guy saying, stop crying. So, what I think he was misunderstanding or just choosing to ignore was the fact that it reduced the capability of the choppers as a whole. If you take away, you know, a, a year after the game's release, a vital key point of a certain style of playing, like when you're in the chopper, if you take away 50% of the defensive capability of that vehicle, that's a huge move. That's a that's a broad stroke. That's not like minor tweaking or anything like that. They took away 50% of the defensive capabilities of the attack or the uh, yeah the attack choppers. Um, so what you have here in effect is there's already a huge huge population of people. Oh, and here repaired little troll squad. Um, there's a huge population of people that have trouble flying choppers and doing anything and being effective at all in them. So you've got a bunch of normal players. And then you've got your elite players in a separate category that can, you know, rain hell from above all the time. And they have great games all the time. Now those guys are able to adjust their tactics accordingly post-patch to where, you know, they're flying lower, they're using the environment more, they're retreating to repair, all this stuff. But normal players don't do this. So what happens here is there's an even finer dividing line between who gets in a chopper and is successful and who's not. And DICE really, really just... Um, they lessened the margin of success for decent players. They um, made it even, even harder for normal players to get up in the air and be successful and have fun. 
up there. And at the end of the day, that's what this is. It's a game. We should be able to have fun. I don't think there should be anything that is so, like, skill-intensive that everybody can't get up there and do it. This is not some type of elitist game. And this is, of course, just my view. So I, um, I know I'm going to get some of you guys that disagree with me on that, but this is... Uh, just the way that I look at it, I think it should be fun and fair for just about everybody and it should be balanced and this move It did the opposite of that um, So that's about all I'm gonna address for that now and maybe uh, we'll go back and forth on the comments with you guys if you want to continue this discussion or not um, so uh, Some more news here for the channel the next episode of fan service. We're gonna do fan service episode 5 uh, I put up a post on Reddit and on our Facebook page, which, reminder, if you guys don't have us on Facebook, go ahead and add us. I have the link in the description of all of our videos. I'll have it in this one as well, so go ahead and click that link and add us on Facebook. We put a lot of extra news up there and behind-the-scenes stuff. We invite you guys for input and stuff like that, so it's, uh, it's really, you, you get much more interaction with us by going through there instead of just watching the videos and I really love having that interaction with the community um, but anyway so fan service episode 5 um, I had four different people actually tell me they wanted the exact same thing and it was weird because it's so specific they wanted me to play uh, e either by myself at the very least by myself but maybe with other people like with a squad running around on no shark canals team deathmatch with the 320 smoke rounds so that's going to be the next fan service video i'm going to try to get that out for you guys in the next couple days um <laughs> but that should be that should be uh, interesting to say the least i think uh cryptic panther is going to join me on that match so we're going to set that up here in the next couple days i'm sure um another thing i wanted to talk about was battle chat I'm doing a lot of like YouTube news here, like stuff that's going on with our channel, but this will just update you guys on where we stand. Um, f for the battle chat, this is a new series that I just started a little bit ago, and this is where I bring in guests on each episode just to kind of shoot the battlefield shit, if you know what I mean. Like, it's uh, just an informal real chat, just a discussion between me and somebody not of the clan. We have certain series like uh, Battle Drunk. And this series for me, of course, this is bullshit, where I discuss things or me and other members of the clan discuss things. And this is a way to bring in even more community interaction from you guys, because I love doing that so much. So this is the chance for you guys to get on the channel, get on a video and be heard and, you know, talk it through with different subjects, uh, whatever you want to bring up. But my main thing is, like, I really feel like being a lazy bastard in <laughs> in this particular aspect and uh I, w I would love if the guests that come on this uh series here i would love if they bring some topics to talk about because i feel like thinking up stuff for the first one was fine and i'll probably be okay for the next couple episodes but i've already talked about so many things in either like this is bullshit or in certain aspects of the game like top gun and uh and like air stuff uh, so, I've already talked about so many things, and I feel like you guys mainly know my thoughts, my opinions. I want to get you guys on here. I want you guys to do some talking, and we'll have that discussion. So, if you guys want to be on the next Battle Chat episode, or in any subsequent episodes in the future, um, I always post when I'm going to do one of these, or I try to set something up like that, so... Uh, I'll try to get everybody in that wants to get in on this. It's just going to take some time, so please bear with me and be patient. I have a, a huge workload that I have to do with all these videos and, of course, my actual life. So um, when I put out the invite, if you guys have topics to talk about, don't tell me what they are. Just give me like a number like, hey, I've got like five subjects I want to talk about, and that'll be great. I'll be absolutely thrilled if, uh, if I can get you guys to do that. So, um, more news, and this is not channel related, this is just clan based stuff. Um, the VOIP guys, uh, doing work and, and the rest of the crew over there, we've been talking about doing the rematch between ATC and VOIP, and we're probably going to try to set that up here in the next couple weeks. Um, it looks like we're going to have the same maps, but I'm not sure. We don't have all the details hammered out, but that's going to be some upcoming, it's an upcoming event that we're going to have for you guys. So. That'll be uh, that'll be really cool. They're a great bunch of guys. We've been playing with them, and uh, they're very sportsmanlike. And setting stuff up with them is very easy. They're very professional about it. So, um, 
shouldn't be any problem to set that up, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, that'll just about do it. I think I've got about a minute left of video here. This last clip, we <laughs> we landed in the water because I was trying to uh, get close enough to maybe run one of the guys over and get a roadkill. And then I ended up just running my chopper into the water like an idiot, too. And then uh, I got the one guy on the other side of the beach. We had a rocket duel with him. He got the tank and then brought it over and promptly drove it into the water like an idiot as well. So <laughs> that was uh, that was really funny. So some more troll squad. Um, <laughs> so basically that'll be uh, that'll be about it for this episode of This Is Bullshit. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. And uh, make sure you add us on Facebook. Again, the link is in the description. Uh, you can feel free to add me on Battle Log. I love uh, chatting with you guys and you know uh, seeing what you guys are doing in game as well. It's always interesting to me. So add us on Facebook. Add us on or add me on Battle Log, and uh, subscribe to the YouTube. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you on the battlefield. Take care.